What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony, and we're back here once again with Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode. We are continuing Arthur Morgan's life through the Wild West. Remember, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you think. Also, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified for more ZH Gaming content. Welcome back, guys. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right, guys. We are. We have just finished our last one, uh, or the last last time we were here, we uh, we dealt with Mary, and we had our little self. We had ourselves a little date, I guess you would say. Uh, we we um, we went. To the theater and we watched a few things but i didn't stay long i said we got to go it's time so let us go and take care of some more okay my girl i'm gonna go take care of some more business uh first off i need to eat Feeding my horse as well. All right, girl. Uh -huh. Good deal. Got that. Need to, need to give yeah. her a brush and let's give her a brush. All right. So, what do we have today? What is on the agenda today? There is a professor. Oh, the professor story. And the Charles. Charles Chatney? Charles Chatney. The artist way. Let us, um, let's go finish this one off. The professor. Let's go finish the professor. Let's go. I think it's just going to see in the next thing. It's not really a nice thing to go see. Is it? Your Easy. Trouble. Ain't no trouble, ma'am. Calm down. No way for these people. Go ahead, man. Hey there, partners. Eating. Ah, yes. Well, auto save, man. Not yet. We're gonna go to this one. Oh my god, you're torturing him. Oh no. No. Oh, his life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Oh my. Uh oh. Somebody shoot me, please. 
hawkish skin up. They don't seem overly humane to me. No, it is not. I think it's mighty fine. Okay. Oh, God, Careful, no. lady. Help. Someone help. Stay with the hell. No, it can't be. Wow. Easy Mr. now, partner. Son of a bitch. Help, please. Oh, no. Oh, man. Not good. Passez une bonne soirée. Help! Get help! Somebody get help. Good evening. Help for help. once. That was, uh, that was definitely not... That was definitely not humane. That was tragic. Alright, let's go... Let's go over here to this one. Hope we can find a way to... I think it's through here. Is it through here? I have no idea. You know what? Before I go. Sorry about that. Oh, I am. I'm sorry, ma'am. My apologies, ma'am. That's not what I wanted. Okay. My apologies, ma'am. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right. Like I said, ma'am. Like I said. Need to make sure. You're concerned I am the devil. Now get out of here. With this cab. I said I... get out of here. This is an outrage. <laughs> well, what are we I doing? I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Maybe. We we might go see that. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let us. Behind you, ma'am. Um, buenas tardes. All right, guys, let us get out of here and we shall, we need to go to, who is this? Jose. Let's head over to Josea. Go do that. Oh, come on, horsey. Horsey. All right, let's go. We're going to take off into the night. Just kick that out of the way. Hello, sir. I'm so glad that that did not knock me over. So I would not be too surprised no if issue. it did. What? Ain't no issue, man. I'm just. Hey, move! It. Oh the no! With you? I'm, sorry. I'm drunk. I don't know how to steer this thing. <laughs> I'm not good around people. Alms for the blind. Excuse me. Come on. Take the train. Take the track. It's safer for me, anyways, because I don't have to run over people. I get really close at running over people. I try to uh, try to stay away from people. There, girl. I see some smoke out in the distance. It's a smoke pot. It's a chimney. It's a chimney. Chimney, 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 chimney. All right. Uh, oh, look, it's a rainbow. How about that? That's cool. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Let's go this way. Right, can I go this way? some rainbows. Hey, he's here. 
right, here we go. Gonna hitch the horse up. You can rest now, girl. Yep, you can rest now. Then we're gonna go see Jose. Jose. Where's he at? There he is. Oh, we're not with you. Jose? There we go. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Oh, yeah. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Son of a... <laughs> we gonna get ourselves a gown. That's funny. So now I gotta go put this. Hopefully, I don't have to put it on. Okay, now. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what no, we can. No, no. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, <laughs> gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you what made it. What is up with his sock? We are honored He's... to be. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. Look at like. that. Come down this way. Uh, Do Bill. The beautiful you... evening Bill. Be. Really, uh, really, Bronte Bill? Mr. Bronte is a very good friend with the mayor. Good oh evening, Pierre. Goodness. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Bronte, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. <laughs> good night, <laughs> Bill. Bill. You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. All right. We're going to head up this way. Why couldn't I have a hat? Why couldn't I wear a, a top hat? Man, you didn't allow me to have that choice to wear a top hat or not? Come on. Arthur, walk faster. All right, here we go. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yeah. yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. I'll punch him in the his face. self righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm 
going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. Mm. None taken. Punch <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar oh. they hate me. <laughs> so do I. guardarti morire. shoot him. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, wow. Good day to you. Mm. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know about that. <sighs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Uh-oh. That's where we need to go. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Mm -hmm. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Have a wonderful night. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing, nothing. unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. All right, and we're gonna go find the main. Champagne, sir. How are you all doing? Camilla McClare. Have a lovely evening. Did you get that? Evening, folks. How was the show? I heard you went. Jim. Mm -hmm. Hello, these dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign mm -hmm. me up for French lessons. Gentlemen, uh, I hope you're Good having evening. a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the redskin. I did no such thing. Mm -hmm. But, Mr. Lemieux, it I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. Mm. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm yeah. not drunk, you fool. Yeah, you are. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me oh. cool off? Yeah, let's go. Get your hands off me. Nope, we're gonna we're gonna take a walk. Come on, sleep it off. Yep. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of How that. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. <laughs> There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. No. Nope. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Fireworks. Love, they're fantastic. Good old fireworks. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, please. 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Mm -hmm. Yes. Find out what. Sure. We'll find out. Keep going. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turb. Mm hmm. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. He'll sign later. Interesting. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? Oh, what, what? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mm. Mm -mm. That's not mm -mm. man. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Uh -huh. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. All right, let's get up out of here then. We're not gonna. Wait, what? Inspect the letter. Read. Saint Denise Rimini. Um, the nest is here. I'm very grateful. Okay. All right. I need to get out of here. Don't want to get caught. Wonder if there's anything else we need to look for. Probably not. All right, let's, uh, I don't want to push my luck on that one, you know what I mean? Let's go back down and find Dutch. Come on. 
Let's go get Dutch. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? What? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Yeah, probably. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. A city and bank. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Mm -hmm. Come on. Bill, I just I can't get over your, your your pants, dude. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Yep. <sighs> I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, <laughs> it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Mm -mm. Let me think on it. Let's think on it. All right, what do we have here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Oh, nice. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. You do that. You do that. Oh, man. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Remember to like, comment down below, let me know how I'm doing. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And until then, I will catch you on the flip side.